Good morning. We are back at it. And I'm still in the combine. It's a good day. We are uh, we're plugging away here at the neighbor's corn. We've got, uh, we had finished up 30 acres yesterday and we're working on a half section right now. So we're gonna go until the other combine is supposed to be ready and that combine's gonna get the uh, straight cut header on it and it's gonna run a sample in our beans to see when they're ready. The moment they're ready, we're gonna jump out of this and go try finishing our beans. They're calling for rain tomorrow and we're hoping to try and get as much beans off before that rain comes. Because as soon as the rain, if it rains, we can always get back at the corn a lot quicker than we will at the beans. ish acres on the cornfield there and <clears throat> we got our other combine ready thermostatic switch problem is solved that combine ran a sample in our uh, beans and they are what half a point from being dry so we are by the time we get this combine out there and get everything rolling grain cart uh, we're thinking they'll be good to go so see if we can knock some off they're calling for some rain tomorrow and we'd like to get as much beans cleaned up as possible. So, good day. 70 acres so far of corn, and see what we can do with the beans. Our, uh, we have bought a new header, and we bought a new header, and it arrived today, or new to us header, I should say. Daryl went and picked it up. Came up from Nebraska and a uh, little more than brought it from Nebraska here. So it's in the yard, so that's a 12 row Drago. And so, yeah, once we get rolling, we'll probably get rolling with it instead of the 8 row. Clean some acres up quicker. And if we're going to do some of this custom stuff, we might even get rolling with both combines. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> all right well we got the header here apparently it's 100 percent ready to go combine we got everything switched over arch is heading out to the other yard hook on to uh the straight cut header and daryl's already going so figured i'd take a quick look at <clears throat> figured i'd take a quick look at this that's yeah, a 12 roll drago looks to be in decent shape from what i can see and look forward to putting it to use. Okay, we are back at it. It's been a bit of a lull here with rain delays and actually not really rain, just wet, yucky weather. So anyway, we are, uh, we're back at her here today. We're trying, we ran a sample here about an hour ago and our moisture was reading uh, right here at my current. It was reading an hour ago, it was reading 15.6. And so I was like, oh boy, we're not going to be there, but we took a sample in and we were half a point wet. So uh, now we are going and we are down to 14.2. So I think we should be good to go. And these should, builders should go to right straight to the elevator. So that's good. Um, we'll see how this goes. It's been a bit of a different kind of day. Kendall's been doing corn and now we got things switched over to go back into beans. Um, I believe Arch is just pulling into the field here with a second combine now. So, if we can do a little bit, they are talking rain for tomorrow again. So, it is that season. This um, holiday season in uh, September tends to be a little, a little on the wetter side normally. So, this is nothing terribly unusual. Um, but, uh, yeah. As dry as one is, you are anxiously waiting to get combining again, as silly as that sounds.
I'll get Arch to lower it and then we'll know. Peter. Arch! That's as low as you can go. All right. Okay, up you go. Ha, ah, he scared you. Arch, make sure you uh, turn your spreader on faster. I slowed it down to 200. What else you gotta do? That's it. That's it, that's all. That's it, that's all. I don't remember. I remember doing it and thinking, oh, I know I did it. Right here, this thing, up and oh, yeah. speed up forward there. Hey, what, what do you want that? Yeah, 400. Hey, do you know what? There's a plug in back there, Daryl said that could have come undone. I can't get my ladder. Okay, yeah, and I got your work lights off already. Oh, that, I, that? that I pressed in the morning, that's in the back board there. It overrides it. I'll check this ladder and then we'll see. Ladder's not working. It'll be fine, it'll be good for today. Yeah, so I think you just have to do your spreader and then Daryl will tell you the setting, so. All right, perfect. Well, Peter, we ran combine and cart for seven in the morning till three o'clock, five, eight hours. That's all I got cash in today. And then we didn't even like, we, we just we lost it. But we just lost our job. Nap time? Oh, trucking time. What's that? Trucking time. I guess so. I guess I gotta take you uh, I gotta go to the truck. So. Okay, well, they're heading off. Let's see what we can blast off yet today before the rain.
630 from one up and down the each other. Well, that's good. Okay, so we've been going here a little ways, and as we're coming right here, you're going to see something. I think this is a lighter color than this right here. This is So what this is, this is where we ran out of one variety, and you're going to see it coming up ahead. We literally I did a turnaround and emptied out and went along the seating. And so what we're in right now is a different variety than what we've been basically combining here all day. So it'll be interesting to see on our maps once we get going whether there's any yield difference once we get in here um, as you can see the map is right there and um, again that's it's all relative I haven't really been playing with it I just wanted doing its thing and then we'll I'll recalibrate that when I've got everything joined up and um, proper yields in place so Anyway, yeah, it's interesting as to how this is all going to play out with these yields, and then we'll go from there. One thing I'm noticing you won't notice as much is darker plant is definitely taller than the lighter or whiter colored bean. Um, so the pods are higher, and I could show you, um, but we definitely got more header loss where the white ones are. And you know what, we're going to stop and take a look here and I'll show you. It's rather silly, but sometimes you do not what makes sense, but you do what you do. Let me go down here. Here, these are the white colored ones. And what you're going to notice there is just pods everywhere. Like it is a plant loaded full of pods. But what happens is pods are also lower to the ground. So you get a pod like some of these, they're actually going to probably get cut like this. And then you end up with beans on the ground like that. And I know maybe that's not the prime example because we are definitely, when you look, we're cutting lower than what I'm showing. But that is how you end up with beans on the ground here and over here where the combine isn't even got to yet. So now, when we get over here, these plants are probably, well, these ones are waist high, so they're probably six inches taller than what we are. The pods don't look as densely populated here, but they're higher off the ground. So these ones here, instead of being two inches off the ground, we're probably more like three or four. So again, pod height and everything doesn't necessarily have anything to do with, with uh, yield number of beans number of beans in on each plant is where the yield comes from but what does play into it is harvestability so if you get beans that are too low to the ground then what you'll find is you end up with just too much header loss and the beans might be there, but you simply just can't get them. So this is where it'll be interesting to see. If I were to go on just visual, I would say the lighter colored plants have more pods on them. That's visually. I have not actually sat and counted them. Um, but the uh, darker colored ones are much, whatever, they're taller. There's no word of like, there's probably about a foot taller. So. Fairly soon too. Am I gonna make it? That's the question. 